There's a peptide out there that will literally get you jacked and shredded, but keep your natty status. Now, the peptide that I'm talking about is called IGF-1. Okay, IGF-1 LR3, yes, it may be the most anabolic peptide available, but it's also the most unnatural, in my opinion. In fact, it's one of the most unnatural and potentially dangerous compounds you could possibly take. And here's why. So, IGF-1. It's an anabolic hormone. Yes, it is a peptide, but it just doesn't make sense to say the exogenous administration of all peptides are natural because some peptides are also hormones. And depending on the dosage, IGF-1 LR3 could be more anabolic than small doses of TRT. And in my opinion, at equivalent anabolic dosages, IGF-1 LR3 is less natural than TRT. Why? Because your body was not designed to increase IGF-1 without increasing growth hormone. Typically, when growth hormone increases, it stimulates the liver to produce more IGF-1. And from a health standpoint, it's important that growth hormone increases alongside IGF-1 because growth hormone is actually protective against the potential reduction in insulin sensitivity from super physiological levels of IGF-1 through its lipolytic and autophagic properties. Now, one of the most efficient ways of becoming diabetic is to blast IGF-1 without increasing growth hormone. The most health conscious way to increase IGF-1 is to take something like CJC-1295 instead. This is a growth hormone releasing hormone analog that maintains a relatively natural growth hormone to IGF-1 ratio. MK677 is a better IGF-1 increasing option as well, and it's only inferior to CJC-1295 from a metabolic standpoint because the hunger increase from the ghrelin receptor could cause some people to overeat. I really hope IGF-1 LR3 does not become a trending compound to use. Just because it's a peptide does not mean it doesn't come with the risk of some serious metabolic side effects. And for all your supplement needs, check out the free Natty Plus Chi Chi. It is in the description below.